Hello and welcome to my African Village TV, your guide to the hidden treasures of Africa. Ndee wono ndazo mahia, nebe ego na toto. You've got your cash and you are thinking, so what am I going to invest on? How am I going to handle this? We are here for you. And so greetings to all entrepreneurs and business visionaries. If you're seeking exceptional business prospects that could potentially ignite your path to financial freedom, you've arrived at the right place today. We'll embark on an exhilarating journey, exploring the top best booming and profitable business ideas to establish in the vibrant economies of Nigeria, precisely Abia State in West Africa. With the recent election of Dr. Alex Joma Oti as the governor of Abia State, a transformative wave of investor-friendly policies and infrastructural development has swept across the region. Aba, the economic heartbeat of Abia, is rapidly emerging as the hub for entrepreneurial pursuits, offering unparalleled opportunities for visionary minds. But our exploration won't be confined to Abia alone. We'll traverse the vast expanse of Nigeria and the African continent because we all in the African continent, especially the ECOWAS region, have got things in common like the weather, the land, the soil, the quality of the seeds. I mean, we have things, lots of things and even cultural values in common. And so let's dive right into this video. And so to get into the world of endless possibilities of making money, the first point we are going to be talking about this morning is agri-tech and smart farming solutions. Unenego my video, Ago Dinobudo. If you haven't, do well to watch that video because I said a lot in terms of agriculture. And so agriculture remains the backbone of many African economies. Ah, the Ago Dinobudo video actually is the video I titled My Experience, the good, the bad and the ugly, my experience in Aba when I traveled there. Have you watched this video? I'll put it on the screen. Just go ahead and watch it if you haven't. So furthermore, talking about agri-tech and smart farming solutions, agriculture remains the backbone of many African economies and embracing technological advancements in this sector can unlock unprecedented growth and efficiency. Reasons to consider this business idea is increasing food demand and increasing food scarcity due to population growth, need for sustainable and efficient farming practices, opportunities to optimize resource utilization and yield, government initiatives promoting agricultural development, potential for export markets and food security. Let's analyze the viability. Agri-tech startups focused on developing precision farming solutions such as soil monitoring systems, irrigation optimization technologies, and crop management software are poised for success. With climate change posing challenges to traditional farming methods, these innovative solutions can revolutionize agricultural productivity and resource conservation. Additionally, smart farming solutions like vertical farming, hydroponics and aquaponics systems offer opportunities for urban entrepreneurs to capitalize on the growing demand for locally sourced fresh produce. The next business idea that we are talking about today is e-commerce and online marketplaces. The rise of the digital age has paved the way for e-commerce and online marketplaces to thrive, connecting buyers and sellers seamlessly across borders. Here are a few reasons to consider this business idea. We all know that there's an increased internet and smartphone penetration in Nigeria and even Africa as a whole, as a continent. So convenience and accessibility for customers Considering the fact that it is convenient and also customers can access these items from an online marketplace, it has potential to reach a wider market beyond geographical boundaries. 
Another advantage or reason to consider this is because it is cost-effective operation compared to traditional brick and mortar stores. So guys, with the growing middle class and disposable income in urban centers, e-commerce platforms catering to various product categories such as fashion, electronics, and home goods present immense growth potential and we're talking about e-commerce business idea here you guys know that we have this challenge particularly in nigeria where uh because of trust issues people would have to do uh payment on delivery and sometimes should i say undisciplined individuals will still not pay at delivery you see so i think it's of a vital importance to consider these challenges when setting up an e-commerce platform. Ensure that whatever picture you are posting is what you are giving to people, is the exact thing that you are going to deliver. And also ensure that you read your platforms of scams. If you must make it a place where other people will participate in publicizing whatever it is they have to sell or rent. So it is of a vital importance that while setting an e-commerce platform in any part of Africa, you have to consider that there are people willing to take advantage or hijack these platforms to defraud or scam other people. So you have to make your policies and rules and ensure that you consider these things before you set it up so that you can have a platform that is read of bad people and of course if you must set it up as a personal venture where no one will participate ensure that you are honest enough to deliver what people place order for because uh, in cases like these people place others uh, paying ahead of time so it's important whichever one you are considering to do it right so the next business idea that we are talking about today is fintech and digital financial services the financial sector is undergoing a digital transformation and nigeria and africa arrive for innovative fintech solutions in other words financial technology solutions that can revolutionize access to financial services reasons you have to consider this business is large unbanked and underbanked populations there are people that doesn't trust the bank Trust me, it's you who can now work <laughs> like our elders, our grannies, and some young people, they don't have trust in the banking sector. So, need for affordable and accessible financial services is very important for such population. Opportunities for mobile money solutions and digital wallets, potential for innovative lending and investment platforms. Financial technology startups offering mobile money transfer services, digital wallets, and micro lending platforms can bridge the gap in financial accessibility for underserved communities. With the widespread adoption of mobile technology, these solutions can empower individuals and small businesses by providing secure and convenient financial services. Additionally, peer to peer lending platforms, crowd funding initiatives and digital investment platforms can unlock new avenues for assessing capital and financing, fostering entrepreneurship and economic growth. Let's go to healthcare innovations and telemedicine. The healthcare sector in Nigeria and Africa at large presents significant opportunities for entrepreneurs to introduce innovative solutions and address pressing medical needs. Reasons to consider this business idea is the inadequate healthcare infrastructure and accessibility in rural areas, rising demand for quality healthcare services, and its potential for cost effective and scalable solutions. Let's check the viability analysis. You know that telemedicine platforms that connect patients with medical professionals remotely can bridge the gap in healthcare accessibility, particularly in underserved areas. These solutions can facilitate virtual consultations, 
remote monitoring and efficient delivery of medical services. Furthermore, startups focused on developing affordable medical devices, diagnostic tools, and innovative healthcare solutions tailored to local needs can significantly impact the quality of care while fostering entrepreneurship in the healthcare sector. Let us go to this, and it is my highlight on this vlog, Education Technology at Tech Solutions. Education is the cornerstone of societal progress, and leveraging technology to enhance learning experiences and accessibility holds immense potential in Nigeria and Africa. Reasons to consider this business idea is increasing demand for quality education and skill development. Opportunities to address gaps in traditional education system. It offers potential for scalable and cost-effective solutions. We can also take advantage of the government initiatives promoting education and skill development. This also will help us in growing youth population, seeking diverse learning opportunities. Let's analyze the viability of this business idea. Education technology startups offering online learning platforms, educational apps, virtual classrooms, and digital learning resources can revolutionize the education landscape. These solutions can cater to diverse age groups, subjects, and learning styles, ensuring access to quality education regardless of geographical or socioeconomic barriers. Additionally, entrepreneurial ventures focused on vocational training, skill development programs, and educational content creation can empower individuals with the knowledge and skills necessary to thrive in the modern workforce therefore fostering economic growth and societal advancement. The next business idea that we are talking about today is the logistics and supply chain management. Efficient logistics and supply chain management are crucial for seamless movement of goods and services, enabling businesses to flourish and economies to prosper. Reasons to consider this business idea increasing trade and cross-border commerce within Africa, need for streamlined transportation and distribution networks, opportunities for optimization and cost-saving solutions, and potential for technology-driven logistics management. So let's analyze the viability of this business idea. So, companies or startups offering innovative logistics solutions such as digital freight forwarding platforms, route optimization software, and real-time tracking systems can revolutionize supply chain efficiency. These solutions can also reduce operational costs and minimize delays and enhance customer satisfaction, providing a competitive edge for businesses relying on timely and reliable logistics services. Let's go to the next idea, renewable energy solutions. Now, Margonum, the epileptic nature of electricity in Nigeria, minus Abba and Abia. So as the world transitions towards sustainable practices, the demand for renewable energy solution is skyrocketing. Nigeria and Africa, blessed with abundant natural resources, present a fertile ground for entrepreneurs venturing into this domain. Reasons to consider this business idea is the rising awareness of environmental conservation, government incentives and policies promoting green initiatives, immense potential for solar. You guys know that we have abundance of sunlight, wind and hydroelectric power generation increasing affordability of renewable energy technologies, growing demand from commercial, industrial, and residential sectors. Solar energy ventures hold immense promise. Establishing solar panel manufacturing facilities or offering installation and maintenance services could yield substantial returns. Additionally, wind energy farms in coastal regions and hydroelectric projects in areas with substantial water resources present lucrative opportunities. Furthermore, as businesses and households seek to reduce their carbon 
footprint and energy costs, the demand for renewable energy solutions will continue to soar, ensuring a steady steam of customers for forward-thinking entrepreneurs. And maybe this is going to have a part two to read. There are so many, so many business ideas. I think the part two is going to be more powerful because we are just delving into these business ideas. So ensure that you watch our business ideas for Benin Republic because we are giving you practical solutions and practical business ideas, not things that are being Googled and put together. I am living in Benin Republic currently and I am African who had been opportune to live in several African countries. So if you see me doing things like this, I am practically dishing out things to you that are valid. And so until I see you guys in the next part of this business idea for Africa in general, I am Mwada Splendor Ngozi. One on the by, God bless you.